Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about the concept of sustainability and sustainable development. This topic I will cover under such head. First, come to the share of resources or sharing of natural resources. All creatures, all living beings belong to the motherland earth. So each and every creature, they have the right to use the natural resources. That's why human being realize that they can use the natural resources but not hampering the others. And so there should be the distribution of natural resources in equitable manner and which sustain our earth or which sustain our environment which may maintain the balance in the environment. Now come to the the sustainable development, this is the inbuilt phenomenon of the nature. This is the natural process to sustainable development. The creation and the destruction, these two are the part of the nature. Everything in nature, in the environment, they create and other side, some of some part of such matter again destroyed. So creation and the destruction, this is the part of the nature. But there should be the balance. So nature maintain the balance in between the creation and the destruction. But the nature should not produce waste. So those byproducts produced by such Creation and the destruction, such byproducts recycled by the nature. So this is the inbuilt process which maintain the sustainable development by the creation and the destruction. So now come to the imbalance in nature. So day by day, development of our industry, or because of the industrialization, because of the modernization, because of the spreading of township, which may cause the creation in or creation of the imbalance in nature. So everything in nature, they are present in a self-regulated manner, self-balanced manner but the activity of human being but the behavior of human being which creates the imbalance in nature and which may cause of the destruction of our sustainable our sustainable development our sustained environment that's why we have to realize, we have to maintain the balance in the nature, not to disturb the balance in nature. Now come to the citizen of globe. Each and every human being realize that they are not the citizen of single country. They are the citizen of whole globe, the total earth. So the activity of each and every individual directly or indirectly affect the environment. So each and every human being, they should know what to do and what not to do in our environment. They should know what will be the behavior for the maintaining of environmental balance. So we realize and accordingly we will act for the benefit, for the maintenance of the balance in the 
in our earth or in environment so the concept of sustainability and the sustainable development i conclude such topic under this the first one is an equitable use of the natural resources only human being not present on earth to use to acquire the whole natural resources there are other also to use the natural resources so there should be equitable distribution of the natural resources for human being as well as other creatures and our behavior and our activity not to disturb the balance in the nature not to be the cause of any deflection of the natural resources and not to cause of the creation of imbalance in nature or creation of pollution in nature or in environment with this i completed the concept of sustainability and the sustainable development if you like then click on my another video thank you for watching